NixOS is unlike any other Linux distribution I have ever tried. You can mold it into any shape you want, declaring all of your machines in a functional language called Nix. This includes all apps, services, deployments, users, file systems, etc. This video is aimed at providing a pathway to learning NixOS as well as explaining the different ways to configure it. Let's go! The way most people start using NixOS is with a monolithic configuration. Using just two files, configuration.nix and hardwareconfiguration.nix, the latter being generated by NixOS and mostly remains untouched. Being the most simple way to configure NixOS, it is the one recommended in the manual. There exists, however, a better way. Flakes are a schema for Nix code, containing two parts, inputs and outputs. Inputs are other flakes or regular version-controlled software repositories. Outputs are what the flake produces. This can be packages, development environments, NixOS configurations, etc. The advantage of using a flake over a regular configuration is reproducibility. All inputs are pinned with a lock file. This makes sure no matter when you install your config, it will reproduce to the exact same system. I talk more about the other abilities of flakes in a different video, so please check that out. NixOS does not provide a way to declare files in the user's home out of the box. Home Manager does just that. It can be used as a NixOS module, making your configuration all in one, or separately, meaning all changes to declared home files are made with the Home Manager command, meaning it can work on other distros as well. Here is how I recommend learning these parts to ease you into Nix and NixOS. Firstly, use Nix as a development tool. In addition to NixOS configurations, Nix can make reproducible development environments and build packages. This should get you familiar with it as a whole. Contribute to Nix packages. Nix Packages is a central software repository for all things Nix related. By contributing to it, you will understand the language better, learn the release cycle and what different channels do, as well as get a feel for reading source code. This will be important, so don't skip this step. I review PRs all the time, so ping me on GitHub if you would like a review slash help with your contribution. During the other two steps, you should be reading up about Nix OS and Home Manager, plus learning from other people's configurations. I have some resources in the description of this video that should help a lot. At this point, you should spin up a virtual machine and experiment with NixOS. Make a flake-based configuration and push it to Git. You want your configuration to be robust but understandable. Build it until you're confident with the idea of NixOS. Don't worry about understanding every part of it. When the time comes to use NixOS on real hardware, you should be ready. Just install it. It'll be a little more difficult than using it in the virtual machine, but you should get the hang of it sooner rather than later. Remember that you can always roll back to a previous version of your configuration at any time. In the future, you will want to partition the drives, install, and update in a declarative way. This can be achieved with DeployRS and NixOS Anywhere. This will be the topic of a future video, so subscribe if you would like to see that. The most painful part of NixOS, and Nix in general, is the lack of proper documentation. Learning how to find resources, packages, and options you are looking for is part of the NixOS experience. Here are some ways that I find what I'm looking for. For NixOS options and packages, I use the web search interface, as well as the search feature of the Nix CLI. For Home Manager options, I use MipMip's Home Manager options search web interface. The Manix CLI is incredibly useful. It searches code comments, modules, and docs for Home Manager and NixOS. I also use the Nix package's GitHub page, searching for parts of errors and options that seem relevant. You will most likely need to read source code, which is why I recommended using Nix outside of NixOS so much. Join some discords. The Nix and NixOS Discord is great for getting out of a pinch. Also check out Vimjoyer's Discord and channel. He makes great videos about Nix and NixOS. I'm an admin on his Discord server and frequently answer questions, so feel free to ping me there as well. Some other miscellaneous things that make debugging a NixOS configuration a little easier include the REPL. It allows you to explore inputs and outputs easily. It will even show a package's store path. NixOS Rebuild provides BuildVM to build a lightweight virtual machine based on the configuration. It's great for testing. Snowfall is a flake configuration framework written by Jake Hamilton. It simplifies the process of creating custom NixOS and Home Manager modules as well as creating your own installer images. My next video will be about it, so stick around for that. NixOS has many powerful applications, like declarative Docker deployments, micro VMs, and impermanence. The only real way to find out if you like it is to use it for a few months. I would like to thank Kinzoku for supporting me at the Voyager tier on Kofi, as well as being a valuable member of my community. If you would like to support me, please become a Kofi member. You get early access to my videos and behind the scenes content. Link in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or join our Discord community. Thanks for watching.